Um, my name is Reno Denardi. I'm the MOV engineer at Salem Nuclear in Salem, New Jersey. Okay, I'm Dirk Rabel from uh, Ameren, which is out of Missouri, St. Louis, Missouri, and I work at the Callaway Nuclear Plant in Central Missouri, actually out of Fulton, Missouri. Um, so my name's David Zanny. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I work for Fermi 2 up in Monroe, Michigan. I took this MOV class because, um, well, I wanted to get more uh, introduction into the history that got us to where the MOV program is today. Um, this class really started at bare bones, the first generic letter issued by the NRC, all the way up through to the JOG implementation that we do nowadays. Um, and then it's also a lot of hands-on here in the lab where we can uh, test valves on the MOV test stand, take apart an actuator, and really get a lot of hands-on feel with that. That's actually one of our requirements nowadays. I used to be the MOV program engineer and program owner back at uh, the Prairie Island Nuclear Plant in Red Wing, Minnesota. Through my career, I moved around a little bit. Now I'm working at Callaway. I just started there in November, and part of their requirements, they like to have an MOV class, so this one was one of the better ones that they like, so I'm here for that. So what brought me out to the class to actually take the course, uh, I was put into the MOV program to maintain the design basis of MOVs. Uh, didn't know anything about MOVs and one of the engineers that had taken this course highly recommended the course. Uh, he had taken courses from Crane, he had taken courses from Limit Torque, uh, and he had taken this course and he said this course was by far the best course he had taken. Uh, Kevin and Mark are actually very, very helpful with everything. Um, Kevin's been around testing MOVs since the very beginning. Kevin has been uh, central to a lot of research that has been done on MOVs um, from the very beginning when the NRC uh, first issued their bulletins. Um, he was in charge of coming out with a lot of the, the DP testing that has come to turn into the generic letter 8910. And even today he's still on the committee for MOV users group and he still works uh, hand in hand with the industry today to help implement uh, a lot of the, the standards that we now do. The instructors are very knowledgeable, of course, they've been in this for a long time. Um, it's fun to talk to Kevin and uh, Mark because they have the background. They were the ones that actually were in the ground phases of it all and helped build up the program, which was uh, quite interesting. I could even ask them the questions of why you did something, why you did it this way instead of that. So the instructors for the class, uh, they're wonderful. Um, you have uh, Kevin, who worked with a great deal of the testing for the 8910 program, actually wrote the generic letter, or at least participated in writing it. Uh, so he brings a lot of great experience uh, to where we were where we were going and, and why we're doing what we're doing today. Uh, Mark is great. He comes from the regulatory side, uh, which is a big part of MOVs and the design basis and maintaining that requirement. Um, and I haven't met anybody to date in the industry uh, that has their level of experience. So it's great learning from them and being able to participate in this course for a week. I think that somebody, especially somebody that's new to MOVs, would really appreciate this course because it really goes through the full spectrum of um, where the MOV uh, testing started to where we are today. So there's a lot of knowledge back there that uh, this class kind of all brings together. And even though I'm fairly experienced, I knew a lot of that already. It, um, it does cover all the little points that I've even missed over the years and brought in some new things that I hadn't even thought of. So it's, for my breath, even knowing a lot of things, I've been up in nuclear for 20 years, it still had a lot of good points for me to even kind of kick away the cobwebs and get some thought into some things that even brought some stuff up that I didn't even realize. So anybody who would be looking to take the course, uh, I would highly recommend it. Um, I'm coming in relatively new. I have a year and a half experience uh, with MOVs. I kind of understood uh, as far as the design basis, but didn't have very much time to learn in the actual environment uh, to be taught. Uh, I would highly recommend taking this course uh, if you want to learn uh, MOVs uh, from beginning to middle to end and just get a really good understanding of, of, of why we do what we do in the industry. Uh, and it, it makes you feel more comfortable and you can go back to the actual plant and apply what you've learned in the week here and feel more confident in doing what you're doing for a living with MOVs.